was the week before Christmas, and all through the studio, not a creature was stirring, not even Bob Carver. The green screen was hung on the wall with care, in the hopes that musky minutes soon would film there. The crew was all ready, typing up their scripts, ready to see what this holiday may bring, wearing their antlers and their ugly Christmas sweaters, drawing Christmas trees ready to bring the new spirits. We're all gathered here to... Hey. Fine. Rude. I was in the middle of a speech. Oh, hi there. Sorry, I was just reading my uh, favorite Christmas story here. But... Oh, well, don't just stand there. C come on in. Sit down. Have a cup of eggnog. And uh, listen to, to a very nice story here. Sit by the fire. And welcome to the Muskie Minutes Holiday Special. Hey Muskies, it's Kaylee. And Gabe, we're back with this week's general announcements. Is your Spotify looking dry lately? Yeah. So, Gabe, it's a rhetorical question. You weren't supposed to say yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, well if it is dry, you should go see the MHS Choir Holiday Concert today at 7.30pm in the MHS Auditorium. And if you're feeling dramatic this week, the MHS Drama Club will be meeting Thursday the 15th right after school. Anyone is welcome. And Mr. Muscatine is this Friday from Muskie Time to 3rd Period in the Auditorium. If you want to buy tickets and see your peers perform, they'll be on sale this week during lunch. And if you're struggling in any classes this year, you can sign up for tutoring. Check your emails for more information. And if you wrestled yourself a nice piece of wrestling apparel, your order should be in on Tuesday. And get ready for the final countdown. Finals will take place January 11th <laughs> through the 13th. The Robotics Club will be having a STEMtacular event December 13th. You can learn about robotics while eating pizza and playing some fun games. It will be at Reynolds Engineering. And for more information, check your daily announcements. And if you need some more silver cord hours in the pantry, the food pantry is looking for more volunteers. You can sign up in the daily announcements. Speaking of volunteers, River City Showcase is coming up, and they need your help. River City Showcase is the show choir's big infantational hosted here at MHS, and it takes a lot of people to run it. For more information on times and signups and any questions you might have, you can check your daily announcements, and you can email this address below. Santa Claus is coming to high school. The Key Club is selling Santa Grams for a dollar a piece, and they'll be sold before school by Nirvana and at lunch in the library. All proceeds will go towards an angel from the angel tree. Santa Grams are coming this week. Lastly, seniors, don't forget to fill out your FAFSA applications ASAP in order to receive federal aid for your college. Different colleges have different due dates, so make sure you look into that. And we ho ho hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. And we'll see you after break. Ho ho howdy, muskies. And we are back with your musky sports news. To start off the week, on Monday, there is a JV wrestling tournament at Mid-Prairie High School at 4.30 p.m. On Tuesday, the girls' basketball JV team have a game at Davenport North High School at 4.30 p.m. The boys' basketball sophomore game at Davenport North begins at 5 on Tuesday. The girls' varsity basketball team have a game at Davenport North High School at 6 p.m. The boys' varsity basketball team have a game at Davenport North, and this starts at 7.30 on Thursday, there is a varsity swim meet at Davenport Central at 5 p.m. On Thursday, there is a JV and varsity boys wrestling meet at Davenport Assumption at 6 p.m. On Friday, there is a girls wrestling tournament at Central DeWitt High School at 4 p.m. On Friday, there is a varsity wrestling tournament at Fort Madison at 5 p.m. The boys sophomore and freshman basketball teams have a game at MHS at 6 p.m. The girls' JV basketball team have a game at Davenport Assumption at 6 p.m. The girls' varsity basketball teams have a game at Davenport Assumption High School at 7.30 p.m. The boys', the boys varsity basketball team have a game at the high school at 7.30, and this is on Friday. On Saturday, the boys' varsity swim team have an invitational on Clinton High School at 10 a.m. The JV and varsity wrestling teams have a meet at 9.30 a.m., and 10 a.m. at Wilton High School. That's all for this week. Good luck and go skis. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, Muskies. This year, uh, we went ahead and asked a few teachers 
throughout the school or the teachers we could find about their different holiday traditions. And uh, just to kind of see, you know, we all do different things for the holidays. So I guess I'll start off here with saying for my family, what we do for the holidays is we have this giant Christmas party every Christmas Eve where we have our whole big Hispanic family crowded into my house. And for this, we always make a bunch of special dishes like menudo, pasole, we make some empanadas and Mexican sugar cookies and everything you can imagine. Tons of great Mexican food. And at midnight, we all get to open presents under the tree while Santa Claus comes in. So let's go check out some other teachers' traditions. Hi, I'm Ava, and I'm here with Miss Cleveland. <laughs> so how do you celebrate the holidays? So in Spain, they have a tradition of eating 12 grapes when the bell or the clock strikes 12 at midnight. And each strike of the bell, they will eat a grape for each of the 12 months upcoming in the new year to give them luck. Whatever grapes they don't eat, unfortunately, means that they will have misfortune for that amount of months in the year. If they don't eat all. Hi Muskies, I'm back here and I'm here with Senora Gomez and I'm asking her today what does she do for the holidays? So. Okay, in Mexico we celebrate the Christmas nine days ahead of the date. Uh, we have the posadas and then the very day is Christmas Eve is the biggest um, rather than the 25th actually is the 24th. So that's what we do. Okay, well, muchas gracias senora. De nada, ciao. Hi, I'm Ava, and I'm here with Mr. Hadeen. Uh, so what is your um, special holiday tradition? Well, growing up, we used to have spam on Christmas Eve, and it was delicious. My mom would grind it up with cheese, and we would uh, broil it uh, on um, hamburger buns. And I always look forward to that every Christmas Eve. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi guys, it's Em, and I'm here with Miss Skippers. And today we're asking her what she does for the holiday season. I do what a lot of you guys do. We get together with family, we eat, we open presents, all those good things. Cool, thank yeah. you so much. If you're looking for a way to spread your holiday cheer throughout the holidays, you should head to the Jingle Mingle next year. The Jingle Mingle, formerly known as the Holiday Stroll, happens in the first week of December every year. It's a fun way to go out and support your community, local businesses, our music programs, and get to take a look at cool businesses, lights, and a lot of cool different things to offer. This year we decided to take a look around and uh, explore it so then maybe next year you can go too. following us around the Jingle Mingle with all the cool things they have to offer. Hopefully, we can see you guys there next year. Come on, 
In order to play the game, you have to understand the basic rules. The objective of the game is to unwrap the saran wrap ball full of a bunch of prizes and goodies. In order to get the ball, you have to roll doubles on the dice. Doubles! Nice! After that, you get the ball and pass the dice on to the next person, and they roll until you, they get the ball. And the whole point is whoever gets the ball unwrapped first wins. Muskies, we're back here with the annual saran ball competition here. And uh, let's just uh, take a look at our contestants. So I'm here with Nathan, Hayden, Kevin, Anthony Ash, Dayton Trusto. All right, and we're gonna have these guys start. So uh, who's gonna start with the ball? Me. All right, now let's get going. Pass it, pass it, pass it away. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. You're not gonna get it, man. Ooh, come on. <laughs> he dropped it. <laughs> Does it count? No. They had an arm job. What the? stop rolling so fast. You got all that. It was so close. Watch, can you do all that work and get it stripped in like seconds? <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go. Oh, there it is. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Bro, they got juicy food in there. Ooh! Switch, switch. Come on, Nathan. Nathan, come Don't on. Oh, Nathan, come on. Nathan. Come on, Nathan. Just roll one at a time. Now try to get a one. No, roll one at a time. Uh, no! Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Yo, we took my fucking bowl up. <laughs> We're getting close to the middle. Let's see what's there. Switch, 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 switch. Oh, you're taking chunks out. Oh my god. No! Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Devin. <laughs> I got it. No way. Oh! Nice! <laughs> That's a chunk though. I have it. Oh my gosh. I got it. No. Don't sell. Switch it! Switch! I literally had it! I, no! It was, I had it! It was all bad! I was touching it! I was no touching way. it! Let's go! Oh. I was touching it. That's actually oh. so annoying. Look at that! We have our grand winner! <laughs> How are you feeling right now? I'm so happy right now. I got airheads, candy, and uh, I have no clue what that is. Cool. 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 Let's go. All right, Muskies, I'm here with my next group, and I'm here with... And we are going to go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go! Oh my god. Oh my god. What a date. You guys are faster than the boys. <laughs> you know, because it's the boys. <laughs> you can do it. What the fuck? Use your strength. Mama mia. Why? I'm Italian. You cannot go. <laughs> one one. I'm oh, sorry, girl. Just put my mozzarella on the Oh my, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's an eraser. I can say I'm old Damien. Never 
What is this? Oh, there we go. Yay! Kaylee, and we're back with this week's weekly poll. The results from last week's poll are 87% of you would rather have snow on Christmas and 13% of you would rather have no snow on Christmas. That's kind of lame. But don't forget to vote in this week's poll at Muskie Minutes on Instagram. Who wants to have no snow on Christmas? Ladies and gentle people, welcome back to another week of Word of the Week with your very own Lucas Dalby. What's up, Muskies? It's Luke, and I'm back with another episode of Luke's Random Word of the Week. Your word for this week is scurry funge. Scurry funge means to hastily tidy a house before unexpected company arrives. Luke, I'm here! Hold up, I'll be right there. Oh, Muskies, I better skedaddle and scurry funge my house, and remember to use scurry funge in a sentence this week. I'll see you after break, Muskies. Bye! Oh, there's my phone. <laughs> what was it doing in this box of ornaments? Well, I guess while, you have, uh, while I have you guys here, uh, welcome to another episode of Food for the Brain. Uh, I'm looking for my le special Lightning McQueen ornament, and I can't find it. <sighs> I hope it isn't lost forever. But in times like this, it's important to remember uh, something really important. Christmas isn't just about material things like presents and special ornaments, but Christmas is about that time that you spend with your loved ones. So muskies, spend this holiday season with your friends and your family and whoever makes you feel special, because just as soon as you know it, the holidays will be over and you'll be so grateful that you spent it with the people you loved. That's all for this week, muskies, and have a happy... I found my ornament! Yes! Look at that! One new queen! Have a happy holidays, muskies.